Hello, I am Dr. Gorajan Ghosh speaking. Pranam to the elders, love and best wishes to the youngers and namaskar to the same age group people of Greater India that is India, Bangladesh and Pakistan and Indian origin people around the globe. I started my career as a physics scholar in the physics department at the Baden University, West Bengal in 1976 for doing research on nonlinear optical laser devices. In 1982, I received the Japanese government Monbusa scholarship for doing postdoctoral research on optoelectronics at the Tokyo University. After that, I did research on optical fibers at the Central Research Laboratory of the Furukawa Electric Company Limited in Shinagawa, Tokyo. I did some fundamental research work there. In 1986, I returned to India <coughs> for the development of our mother India. And I had several positions in the Calcutta and Jabalpur universities and Indian Pulsator Company, Hindustan Cables Limited as a manager of optical fiber. However, I migrated to Australia in 1992 since I was unable to cope with the corruptions in India. And then in 1993, I moved to Japan for carrying out research on high tech field of optical technology and <coughs> optical materials as an Australian. In this period, I have solved some fundamental problems on optical materials and optical fiber communication technology for the benefit of mankind. And my name was nominated and published in the Marquis Who's Who in the World in 1996 as a physicist and educator. Subsequently, I wrote a reference book as a single author and it was published by the Academic Press of USA in 1997. In 1999, I was the co-editor of another handbook published by Academic Press. I am a Google Scholar because of these fundamental research works. Since April 99, I am doing part-time research on Netaji Subhash Chandra Bosch with the advice of my Japanese boss, Dr. Hiroshi Yajima. <coughs> In 99 April, when I returned to Sydney from Japan, he gave me two photo albums of Netaji and unpublished written articles of his father, Masayoshi Kakisubo, who was the Elokam interpreter and later on personal secretary of Netaji in World War II. On 19th of September 2017, I have written the ebook Unknown Facts of Netaji, Japan and Southeast Asia and it was published by Amazon. Also, the paperback book was also published on 23rd of November 2019 by Amazon, all over the world. A Hindi book is published by Amazon on 11th of March 2021 on the eve of 125th birth anniversary of Netaji. These books are forwarded by Dr. Yajima and dedicated to Masarashi Kakitsubo. In these books, the radio broadcast message of the Japanese demigod Emperor Hidoito is published for the first time in the world, including the proof of Netaji's death, having eyewitness evidence and the affidavit of Hayabur Rahman Khan. In this video, I am going to show you the copyright violation by the second topmost Indian copyright violator, Chandachur Ghosh of Mission Netaji at New Delhi. As a Google Scholar and author of academic press and Amazon books, I am well acquainted with the copyright laws in the world since 1977. However, I have checked the copyright laws in India in 2018 and I have posted the laws in the social media Facebook in June 2018 for the Indian public. Copyright laws in India is almost similar to the advanced countries as you can read any copyright infringement in one case, you can read here, in one case the minimum punishment 
is for six months in jail and rupees fifty thousand fine. Only the Indian government and Indian police are not performing their duties at all. Whereas advanced countries they are performing this case very seriously. Also, the judicial system is rotten in India. The British created judicial system is continued without having any modernization based on modern science and technology, and it is a defective one. As a Google scholar, I have found the Indian author Chandrachur Ghosh on 12th of February 2019 as posted in the Facebook. You can see this photo, you can see his photo, Chandrachur Ghosh, as a co-author with Anujdhar of the book Conundrum. This book is based on 100% conspiracy theory, defamation of Netaji and distortion of all over to history. How Netaji was alive after his death on 18th of August 1945? Are we living in the unscientific and technological arena? Political science of Anujdhar is far behind than the modern science and technology of the present world. They have no right to use the photos of Netaji in Japan and Southeast Asia in World War II. They must use the photos of Netaji left from Taihoke airport to Russia in the Russian jail. Netaji, Netaji's passage from Russia to India and at Fujabad to prove their theory that Netaji did not die in the plane crash accident his, and his death is uh, proved in all my Amazon books. You can see here the from the left side comment as published in the Facebook posted was the topmost comment in the Facebook about his book Conundrum. Since both Dhar and Ghosh have only master degree in political science and botany, they have had no knowledge of copyright laws in the world and even in India. Kunal Bosch made a YouTube video on Chandrachur Ghosh on Sahai Commission by violating the copyright laws. How dare this criminal Chandrachur to show his face, to show his face with the World War II photo of Netaji as if he or his forefathers had snapped this photo, important photo. After watching that video, I reported against it to the authorities through the social media, Facebook and Twitter on 19th of May 2020. It was tagged with Narendra Modi, PMO, Shinzo Abe and others. This left hand side photo is the original one published in the Amazon books. This photo has nothing to do with the Gumanayi Baba of Mr. Chandrachur or Anujdhar at Fajabad or at Moirang as claimed by some Indian copyright violators and criminals led by Onuj Dhar. Kunal Bose made another YouTube video entitled Sahai Commissioner Report Kano Batil Kora Uchit Soja Sapta Bakha Dilen Chandrachur Ghos Nathai Rosho Banglate Etuti Baniachilo by violating the copyright laws. Again, how dare this criminal Chandrachur to show his face with his the important photo of Netaji as if he or his forefathers had snapped this important photo in World War II. After watching that video, also I have reported to the authorities through social media, Facebook and Twitter on 22nd of June 2020. It was tagged with Narendra Modi, PMO, Shinzo Abe and others. The left hand side photo is the original one similar to the previous YouTube video one published in the Amazon books. Original photos are used to prove the death of Netaji on 18th of August 1945. This photo has nothing to do with the Netaji as Gunai Baba or Chandrachur Ghosh at Fajabad or to present in the Sahai Commission. The second topmost Indian copyright violator come criminal Chandrachur Ghosh has made another YouTube video on Netaji's trail episode 2 where was Netaji is going by violating the copyright laws using NP21, this is NP21 and NP34 photos on 2nd of July 2020. 
These photos had no relevance with the title of the YouTube at all. Netaji was not going anywhere, anywhere. He was in Japan. I reported against this copyright violation about this YouTube video and it was removed on 6th of October 2021 as the proof is given here. I prove it is proved that in the Facebook and Twitter on 8th of October 2021 tagged with Narendra Modi, PMO and others. You can read the video is unavailable due to a copyright claim by Dr. Gorachan Ghos. This is a proof of proof of copyright of the photos. However, after removal on 6th of October 2021, Mr. Chandrachur Ghosh had made a 100% false counter notification on 9th of October 2021 to the YouTube authority. As per the copyright laws, I have reported it against it to the YouTube authority immediately. This is my email to the authority. Also, I have reported it to the Commissioner of Police Hyderabad. The Prime Minister of India and Minister of Home Affairs as per the Indian copyright laws. Again, this criminal Chandrachur Ghosh has made a Facebook public posting of the original Amazon ebook published photos of Netaji by violating, by uh, stealing and posting in the Facebook on 9th of October 2021 as shown here. You can see there are total almost 54 pages in the Facebook, all the original photos he posted, uh, as if he is the, he owned the photos he posted on 9th of October 2021. I had noticed it on 15th of October 2021 on Vijaya Dasami day. Madurga just showed me the criminal activities of this Chandrachur Ho second criminal. His criminal activities is self-proved from this posting. Here he abused me by using foul languages. Also, he used bad words in the email to, the, to his counter notification to the YouTube authorities. A defamation court case can be initiated. I reported it to the Facebook authority on 17th of October 2021. The Facebook legal support team removed it on 18th of October 2021 by protecting the intellectual property rights and copyright laws in the world as proved in the slides. You can see this is the proof that you face a legal team sent me an email and that the, all the photos are removed. This is the proof of removal by the Facebook legal team. Mr. Chandrachur has made another second YouTube video by violating the copyright laws using NP31 and NP34 photos in his YouTube. Entitled, Was the INA Betrayed into Defeat? The INA Story, Episode 3 on 15th of May 2021. These photos, these photos had no relevance with the title of the YouTube at all. He is confusing to the Indians by using his conspiracy theory and these photos had nothing to do with his Baba Gumnami at Fajabad. After my reporting to the YouTube authority, that video was removed on 8th of November 2021 as the proof is given here. You can see the proof was posted in the Facebook and Twitter on 9th of November 2021 tagged with Narendra Modi, PMO, Commissioner of Police and others. That you can read here, the video is unavailable due to the copyright claim by Dr. Gorajan Ghos. These are the proof of copyright uh, confirmation by the YouTube authority. However, based on 100% false counter notification on 9th of November 2021, he made it and as per the copyright laws, I have reported against it to the YouTube authority immediately. You can see, I have reported it against immediately. Also, I have reported it to the Commissioner of Police, Hyderabad, PMO, Prime Minister and Minister of Home Affairs as per the Indian copyright laws. Second term most Indian copyright violator criminal, Chandrachur Ghosh has made third YouTube video. 
entitled On Netherese Trail, Episode 1, Introduction, by violating the copyright laws using NP15, this is the NP15, and NP40 photos, 40 photos on 12th of June 2020. And I reported in it on 12th of November 2021. These photos had no relevance with the title of the YouTube video at all. Even he cannot explain the photos of Netaji about in his YouTube video. However, he made this video private, similar to the previous copyright violators from criminals on Kunal's diary, Romanchopedia, and K. Kabutar. The criminal Chandrachurkhos made this video private after second video removed by the YouTube authority, that is on 8th of November 2021. His YouTube channel is supposed to be terminated after this third copyright strike. However, I have reported to the YouTube copyright team and with the proof of copyright violation and it was removed on 17th of November 2021 as received an email. This is the proof that the YouTube authority removed that video on 17th of November 2021. However, Based on 100% false oath, he made a counter notification on 25th of November 2021. I have protested it on 3rd of December 2021 since the YouTube team did mistake by re-uploading the previous two removed videos on 22nd and 24th of November 2021 without having any justification. Why they had not re-uploaded within seven days after counter notification? I am sure there is some sorts of mal mischievous, mal malafide and unscrupulous incident happen between this criminal and the Indian YouTube team. As, bracket, as requested by the criminal in Twitter on 8th of November 2021. I am advised by the intellectual property section of Amazon to send the content ID DMCA file to the Amazon of the Amazon books, that is ebook and paperback book, to the YouTube, Facebook, Twitter on 1st of December 2021. This is the criminal activities on Netaji by Anuj Thor and Chandachur Ghosh, posted in the Facebook and Twitter on 2nd of December 2021, tagged with Narendra Modi, PMO and others. Mission Netaji at New Delhi is a criminal organization now to defame Netaji as Gonai Baba without having a single proof of scientific evidence. You can see the left hand side photo is the proof of criminal activities of Anujdhar as a copyright violator. His YouTube video was removed after my reporting. How dare is this criminal to modify uh, to, to modify the original photos by using Photoshop? And, and made in the YouTube video to fool and loot Indians by claiming Netaji as his Baba Gumnami at Faizabad. Similarly, the, here you can see three YouTube videos made by the criminal Chandrachur Ghosh were removed by the YouTube, video, YouTube team as proved in this photo that was posted in, on 2nd of December 2021. I have reported against the re-uploading of the three copyright violated YouTube videos since 9th of December 2021 as the emails are shown here. These are the emails about protesting about the YouTube re-uploading of the three, three YouTube videos. This is the continuation of the re-uploading video. That is, you have seen that. Correspondence with the YouTube authorities after re-uploading the removed three videos of Chandrachur Ghosh based on 100 percent false counter notification since 10th of December 2021 to 28th of December 2021. These are the all correspondence with the YouTube team. The YouTube legal support team advised me to contact to the copyright team. I contacted the copyright team, but the YouTube team replied without the receiving from the copyright team without performing the duties of copyright team. So, I have reported again on 28th of December 2021. Since September 2018, at least 
30 YouTube videos were removed by the YouTube authority after my reporting. Also, Facebook removed many videos based on Amazon ebook photos. Three YouTube videos channels were terminated after my reporting and having three strikes. Number one, Vishal Sarma. Number two, Kunal's diary. Number three, Netaji Suvas videos. The Facebook authority has removed on 18th of October 2021 the 54 photos posted on 9th of October 2021 by the criminal Chandrachur Ghosh in his Mission Netaji discussion platform Facebook public group without having permission from the copyright owner. The intellectual property section of the Amazon has advised me to send the Amazon content ID DMCA file to the YouTube, Facebook, Google and Twitter authorities. The content ID DMCA file is emailed to them on 3rd and 5th of December 2021. The copyright team of the YouTube has acknowledged of receiving it along with the Facebook and Twitter copyright sections. I have made a YouTube videos based on the copyright violations by the Indian topmost copyright violator come criminal Onuj Thor on 19th of December 2021 having the web address is shown here. I have emailed to the YouTube authority on 10th of December 21 to remove all the three re-uploaded copyright violated videos made by the criminal Chandrachur Ghosh. Reminder on 28th of December 2021 to terminate the YouTube channel since the time limit has passed. I have made this YouTube video for the public all over the world. The truth always prevails. Om Sattameva Jayate. Netaji and INA gave freedom of Greater India, that is India, Bangladesh and Pakistan. Based on the above facts, the YouTube authority must terminate the YouTube channel Chandrachur Ghosh of the second term most Indian copyright violator come criminal, who has received three copyright strikes. He has no basic knowledge of copyright laws and give respect to others. Copyright violation is a criminal offense and that's why I am claiming him as a criminal. Joy Hin, Jayatu Netaji, Bande Mataram.